How is fluosinolone acetonide 0.01 topical oil applied and for how long should it be used? Hello and welcome. Today, we are going to discuss the proper application of fluosinolone acetonide 0.01% topical oil, a potent corticosteroid used to treat various skin conditions. Let's learn how to use this medication safely and effectively. What is fluosinolone acetonide 0.01% topical oil? Fluosinolone acetonide 0.01% topical oil is a prescription medication used to treat inflammatory and pruritic symptoms of various skin disorders. It's a type of corticosteroid that works by reducing inflammation and itching. How to apply the oil? Here's a step-by-step -step guide on how to apply the oil. 1. Clean and dry the affected area before applying the medication. 2. Shake the bottle well before each use. 3. Apply a thin layer of the medication to the affected area. Remember, less is often more with this type of medication. 4. Gently rub the oil into the skin until it has been fully absorbed. 5. Wash your hands immediately after applying, unless your hands are the treated area. 6. Avoid covering the treated area with bandages or other coverings unless instructed by your doctor. 7. Do not apply this medication on the face, underarms, or groin areas unless directed by your healthcare provider. Remember, it's crucial to apply this medication only as directed by your healthcare provider. For how long should it be used? The duration for which you should use fluosinolone acetonide 0.01% topical oil depends on your specific skin condition and your doctor's instructions. However, as a general guideline, corticosteroids like this should not be used for more than two weeks at a time unless directed otherwise by your healthcare provider. Long-term use can lead to side effects such as skin thinning and adrenal suppression. Thank you for watching this guide on how to properly apply fluosinolone acetonide 0.01% topical oil. Remember, the key to effective treatment is proper application and adherence to your healthcare provider's instructions. If you have any questions or concerns, don't hesitate to reach out to your healthcare provider. Here's to your health and well-being.